This is a new sketchbook and I've just started to test some colours. And of course, because it's autumn, the autumn colours come out. So in this section, I've tested using a mother colour, which is just one of these colours. So there's more colours than I'd normally use in the palette. But I'm working with this idea of by adding a particular colour, then it will unify the whole palette. But here, what I've done is just mixed all of the colours together and added, added a little bit of each. So desaturated slightly each one, because I'm really wanting to work with desaturating the colours. But also in theory, if you do this, then if you do use a more saturated colour, as in one that hasn't had anything added in, it'll still be in the colours. So this is what I'm working on for the, for the spring collection. But because it's autumn, I've got autumn colours coming out. And I just wanted to show you that because I think it's quite interesting that that happens to me. I find it very, very difficult to not work in the season that I'm in. And I've noticed this about myself before. So I was looking again at these colours, but using them in a slightly lighter way and putting more of the saturated colours in. So it's still got a lot of desaturated colours here, but I have made it lighter than here. So using those mushrooms as inspiration. And I'm really liking these size book as well, because if I wanted to, I could even put these into a frame like that. But really I'm doing this to have my own ideas. I do like putting the tape around so that you get nice, neat edges. What I did with these was I taped off an area just on one sheet of paper and then I put some marks down but the marks were uh, like leaf marks and then I have turned the, the leftover parts of the palette over and just stamped on these and I think they've turned out really well and if you actually look the th this is where it's the reflecting back that's really interesting because I'm starting to look at these and I'm finding that some of these desaturated, beautiful, granulated colours are the ones that are really interesting me. So the bright colours are great against them and having a lot of this white space also is working. But I'm finding that some of this granulation is, is quite fascinating to me. So I'm starting to think I've just dug out my granulation medium. So although I'm working in a, a sketchbook that is to do with autumn, it's because that's where we are and that's how I feel inspired. That's how I work. But I'm also thinking about where I'm going for the spring collection which I am going to start soon and we'll see how that goes. It might end up being an autumn collection in spring. The point is, I think it'll be fine because I'm learning how to actually work in my way. So all I'm doing is sticking these into my sketchbook and making little notes. And so now I'm going to work through it and say, what is it that I like? What is it that I don't like? That's how you learn who you are as an artist. And that really helps you to move forward with where you want to be with your own art and what excites you just to pay attention there is some lack of control but also I have used pencils and to bring in that the feeling of those colours the autumnness and I really do like some of these dark colours I'm really really loving this granulation effect and that's what I've found out of all these lovely colours. But also, I like the fact that this does give the impression of leaves and the impression of autumn. And that's simply by doing this, combining the colours and then using some of the saturated colours. So I've learned a lot from these exercises. And I hope you've enjoyed having a quick look at the beginning of my sketchbook and my thought processes. And what's really wonderful is that all of these colours are going together. So I'm going to start working with you as I do produce this collection. So even though this is slightly more that you can see these are muted, 
I think that they still have, an, they all have the same sort of colours. And can you see how that goes really well with the colours that are in the background there? Yeah. Really, really enjoying this process. If you like having a look at my sketchbooks, I'm planning to do more of these. So as well as the podcasts that are coming out fortnightly, I'm going to do some more sketchbook works, creative foundations, a little bit about my art process. So please like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you want to know when I'm releasing videos because I do intend over the next few weeks to be releasing at least one a week, but hopefully more. Okay, bye for now.